Now, Argentina's Navy has raised the possibility that a Navy submarine missing in the South Atlantic suffered an explosion of some sort, sharply raising concerns over the fate of the 44 crew members. Now, I am with the details. This is how the Argentine Navy described the sound on Thursday, which was heard near the last known site of the ARA San Juan. Some information was received regarding the singular anomalous event, short, violent and non-nuclear, consistent with that of an explosion. He was commenting on information the Navy received from a nuclear test watchdog, but added there was no evidence of any attack and no information on the cause of the noise. The San Juan disappeared last Wednesday, and more than a dozen countries are frantically looking for the submarine as the vessel's air supply is nearing depletion. The search has entered its eighth day, but the vessel's air supply is said to only last for 10 days when completely submerged. The crew's family and relatives camped out in a naval base in the city of Mar del Plata have been largely optimistic until now. But after hearing the news of the possible explosion, they collapsed in tears while others reacted angrily. They accused the government's lack of investment and corruption in the armed forces of making the submarine unsafe. For me, they're a bunch of perverse people who fooled us, and they are perverse. They inaugurated a submarine with paint on its exterior in 2014 with a flag on it, and it was non-functional on the inside. What do you think? Some relatives have questioned authorities for letting the crew navigate on an aging submarine, criticism that has highlighted the armed forces' dwindling resources since the end of a military dictatorship in the 1980s. Authorities have said the level of maintenance, not the age, was what mattered and that the vessel was in good condition. Noaram, Arirang News.